Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Uh, we went back in time just a little bit because I started recording the second part and the game crashed on me. So we're back at where autumn or uh, winter has begun. Luckily, we have autosave on every season. Otherwise, I'd be bitter. But um, I was like, what, the last like five minutes of the video, I think, is where we are back at. Uh, the only thing we really did is I mistakenly tried building a ramp here for some reason. I need to be building a bridge, which is where is bridge? Bridge is G. That's what I want. Not a ramp. These things, these things are ramps. And we want it to be something like that. And we want it to go that direction. Raise that direction. Yes. And yeah, make it out of chalk. Of course. Everything in our world is chalk. There we go. And then eventually we'll get a lever so that we can, we can raise that drawbridge. Because I think here's what I want to do. I think that this underground layer should become my new... I should take advantage of this, I think is the word I'm looking for. Um, we can even... I mean, the chickens have kind of taken over here. We could actually lower the chickens and put the nest boxes down here. That might be an idea. We can clean all this out. First, I think we'll wall in some of this for our animals because I'm, I'm worry, wary of those elk birds. They may be able to just fly over my walls, though. Uh, okay, they are right there. They're all hanging out right here. You know what? Let's send the military. All right, the doors of kissing, you get another job. I want you... Um, Actually, you know what? Just just move to there for now. Yeah. Station yourselves there. Okay. Just hang out down here because I don't trust these guys. They're going to be stealing my chickens and my horses. They're going down. Where are you going? I don't know where he's going. Sure where he's going. Wait, thief? Another? Does he thief? Thief? Is that? Oh, right, wait, right, right. We hit a thief. Where is it? Is he in our base? Or is he outside? Cobalt Thief, there he is. I forgot about him. I don't see him, though. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's gonna get away, though. There's no way we can get to that guy. Glogadingus. Yeah, he's out of here. That's right. I was talking about changing to where... Closing this off and making... Um, That's not gonna work, is it? We got these ramps here. We gotta get rid of these ramps. Making uh, a, a like a upstairs uh, a hatch to get out of, but we need to get rid of these ramps because that's not going to do us any good. I wonder if we could figure out a way of getting this water easily. I bet we could. There's not much there though. Um, we will need to make a hospital. As soon as we get this this all built up, we'll turn these into bedrooms. And then we'll, I guess we'll make this into our hospital. We can get like four beds in there. Um, you also need the, what's it called? Um, traction bench. You need a couple of those. We need some tables. Um, hospital does need water. Normally dwarves don't need water, but the hospital does. Where are my military dwarves at? Where are you? Are these guys even still around? Out of you, I went Z. There they are. Are we attacking them? What levels? This is 140. We are on. Where are my dwarves at? Unreachable location. Oh, you guys are confused. That's what's happening. All right, I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, you know what? Just can I, I think I told him to go down at a level. Just stand right over here. Uh, move to there. Uh, a move to there. Okay. So we'll station them down here. And as soon as we see some of these things come closer, which 
They are eyeballing us. That guy, that elk bird. Where you at, dwarves? Get down here. There they come. They are a bit terrified of us. They may not be a problem, but I don't trust them. Either we need to kill them, or we need to build walls. And being a dwarf, I say we kill them. This guy right here. Um, attack this one. Okay, so let's watch them slaughter him. Here they come. Yeah, get out of here. Beat it, birds. Or elk. Whatever you are. Oh, we got one cornered. Okay. Let's get this one. Who is this? This is Badger. Alright, Badger. Get him. Now they're running. They're back up here now. Uh, <laughs> Just kill something. Did he run away? What was been what's been slaughtered? Oh, it's just straight chick. All right. I don't trust them. I don't trust you, dang birds. Um, how about this one? Get this one. There we go. Now we got one. We got him. Get him. Yeah, now we got him. Well, maybe. Right here. Chasing him anyways. He's fast. I guess he is a bird. With antlers. Yeah, now we got him. Yeah, we got him. Uh, expedition leader bashes the elk bird in the head with his dog bone crossbow. Nice. Bruising the fat. We are bashing with our crossbow. We don't use it. Bolts? <laughs> we just bash people over here with our crossbows. We need to get some... We have... No more fish. Yeah, that's winter. We do have... Um... I think we have an axe or two now. So we should probably... Maybe we'll just... We'll kill one of them. You know... Send a message to the rest of these elk birds. But you don't mess with us. Who'd you just shoot? What are you scared of? Who, who is that first off? This is Badger. Badger, what is your problem? Terrified while in conflict. This is a fight. Ah, no. Oh, Badger's a coward. Embarrassed after sleeping without a, a, a proper room. Well, you're getting it. Romantically involved with Nook. <laughs> well, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, Nook is your lover. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Did we get it yet? Careful with those bolts, guys. Why are you guys ter so terrified for? Let's look, at, let's look at Zed. Zed's kind of our commander, I think. Uh, v is the word. word. Terrified while in conflict. In the midst of conflict, I must press on. That's the spirit. Well, hopefully we kill this thing. We're all very scared, but you know we are destroying this thing. We're just scared of fighting. But there's really nothing to be scared of because we're we are destroying this bird. We're bruising it good, anyways. So the blue exclamation points means we're scared. The um, the brown down arrow means we're hungry, which I'm not sure if that's that's somebody here. Somebody's Zed is hungry. Yeah, we're just we're frightened because we're. We don't like killing things, apparently. Oh, we have a stray llama. We have a, a new llama in the... Wait, 
We only had one llama before, didn't we? How did that happen? Well, we have one dead elk bird. Is he dead? Oh, look at all these chicks. I thought we only had one llama. Maybe she came... No, it was a, it was a baby llama. So there's a llama. We have one llama. Somehow, somehow we have a baby llama. Maybe the baby came pregnant. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, I know how that works, but not in Dwarf. I'm not sure how that works in Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> All right, yes. Are you guys done killing the thing yet? Right, I'm gonna let you be. Um, well, we're not mining because we're busy, busy killing things. Look at all the statues. Of a Gila monster. Nice. There's of a dwarf. Of a dwarf. Oh, Zed has a statue? Oh, man, we gotta look at that. This is a well-crafted chalk statue of Zed is not dead. Um, the dwarf and the ballista arrow in chalk by Zombie. Zed is not dead is admiring the ballista arrow. <laughs> Have you guys killed the thing yet? You know what we could do? We could make another military force that has melee weapons. Just a couple. Who is our best... I think I was looking at this earlier, and I noticed that uh, Kazak is uh, quite a soldier. Let's take a look here. Uh, military... Axe Dwarf. Yeah, Kazak's quite an Axe Dwarf. Maybe we should give him... <clears throat> Bill Nye's got a, a kill. He must have killed... Yeah, he killed Nekabor. Oh, nice, nice, nice job, Bill. So, if anything, he's really the only Axe Dwarf. We have some Hammer Dwarves now. Oh, well, zero. I don't think we anything. Biters. Dodgers. Yeah, we don't have very awesome fighters just yet. Other than Kazak. Where is it? Is it dead? Hey, we got it! It's finally dead. We're all like dying of thirst. We finally killed the dang thing. Uh, who got the kill? Um, oh, maybe that was the kill. Oh, let's refresh it. Oh, Space Voyager got the kill. Nice job, Space Voyager. All right, no more elk bird killing unless we have like an axe. I'm just trying to beat it over the head with a crossbow. I don't think anybody got hurt. Looks like everyone is fine. I don't think it even fought back. We just stood there for a very long time attacking it. But it's okay. All right, you guys are good. Go, go, be free and eat and drink and stuff. Um. Back into these bedrooms. We'll get these these taken care of. And look at all the chickens. We could fill this up with more nest boxes. Why don't we do that? We need um one, two, three, four, five, six more. Six more nest boxes. All right, we can do that. Don't repeat. I don't suspend. And actually, we'll just do this. Not a horn. Add a... Where's the nest box? I thought it was shift in. Oh, I have to go in. I see. Oh, uh, here. Just repeat it. I don't want to go through that whole, every time. So we just repeat it, and then one, we'll keep an eye on it. Once we get six of them, we'll stop it. And we can fill that up. <laughs> Something I did last time, I started making a jeweler's workshop, which we'll do that. I'll hold off a minute, though. Is our bridge coming along? No, it's not. They've started it, at least. This is my net. We'll get some bedrooms. I think that's the, really the only thing that we are really complaining about. Bill, let me see. What do you think, Bill? Uh, pleasure at the fine dining table. Pleasure to find seat. Annoyed when caught in the rain. When were you out in the rain? Bis blissful, I was sleeping in a... Oh, that's right, Bill has a bedroom. Right. 
How about silencer? Uh, she was embarrassed after sleeping without a proper room. Everything else is quite high. annoyed when caught in the rain. I don't get why are you guys even going outside. Unless you're hunting, but I don't think you guys are hunting. Zombie, what is your thoughts? Oh, you have a good bedroom. Right. Annoyed when caught in the rain. When are you caught in the rain? Maybe they're out here trying to build this and they got caught in the rain. I don't know. Did that just move? That is. What is that? A hamster. All right. Oh, there we go. Now we're finally building. There we go. Now it's done. Nice. So we'll have to get a lever <clears throat> and a mechanism to get that thing to raise. And we'll do that shortly. Look at all the crossbows we have. Did I set that on repeat? Here it is. I did. Uh, it's suspended, though, so it's fine. Oh, our bedrooms are done. Build. Bedroom. A bed. I'll just do it this way. Shift. P. And I think this is enough bedroom. This is 18, so that's... That's enough, because we have the other two that have their own offices. Which, uh, as soon as... Oh, we need doors. Doors as well. Make sure I'm putting doors down and not beds. That's what we do. Uh, we'll put some doors here, too. we will give them sort of, uh... Separate it from the dining room. The dining room might get kind of noisy. This way it'll keep them happy. There we go. We'll turn this into bedrooms eventually, and we'll clean these beds out, and... Actually, let me remove those. Okay. Who's in here sleeping? Theron, I apologize. We'll remove those beds, put them in there, and make some new bedrooms. We'll turn this into a medical bay. And we still need to slaughter some chicks. Did I, um... I don't remember if I did this or not. Did I take eggs out of this stockpile? Q is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, I put it back on. Okay. We need to start eating some eggs. We've got two nest boxes done. We need, uh, what was it, six? I think so. Oh, they're coming out here and chopping wood. That's what they're doing. They're coming out and grabbing in this wood. And they're getting angry because they're in the rain. There's our, our elk bird. That Holt is carrying. Yeah, so as soon as we get this wood brought in, we'll be alright. Which, our stockpile is full. We could make another big wood stockpile here. Sir, I, hate saying no to you, but no. I don't know if that's necessary, though. We'll need another office. As soon as we get our med bay done, we'll need to get a medical dwarf. Is any of our dwarves uh, good at medicaling? Chief medical. Here we go. Well, Sansa makes a good chief medical dwarf. He'd be a terrible at everything else. I kind of wanted just one guy, but I suppose we could just have separate folks. Silencer is the chief medical, and then we have other folks being doctors. But he's terrible at everything else. Maybe we should have just Zombie do it. Wait, Zombie already has a job. Badger could do it as well. I'll have to see. He's our farmer. He's a really good farmer. What else does Silencer do? He's our, like, our metalsmith. Uh, he's a really good miner. Furnace operator. That's kind of his thing. Furnace operator, weaponsmith. Which we're not doing right now. We should probably start doing that eventually. In fact, we can probably... Oh, we need a furnace before we start doing anything too exciting. Any sort of metalsmith things. We'll hold off a little bit longer. Oh, the bedrooms are done. Mostly. Oh, did you see what I did with this thing? 
Zed is not is not dead, has has become attached to a dog bone crossbow. Good. One final bed. Yeah, so you're going, no, you're going to sleep. That silencer. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and turn the rest of these into bedrooms. Oh, no bed there. They'll probably still use them, even if they are not assigned as a bedroom. But this way. They'll for sure use them. We don't have dwarves hanging out in the uh, out this way. We need to stop our nest boxes. Suspend that, and then we will need some more beds in here. Let's do a bed, and then we're gonna do some tables. There. And then we also need a traction bench, which is shift R. Which I guess we can put over here. Put two of them. And then we need um, bins. We have containers. I think that is what we want. I think that's what we want. I think that is it for our medical bay. Uh, what can you make here? Do we want a weapon, weapon rack? I don't think so. Not a weapon rack, but a, uh, a cabinet. Might be a cabinet we need. There's our crutches and splints that we will make a couple of these. Just to have them around. I think you are the right place, though. Uh, maybe not. Crafts Dwarf. Here we go. Make things out of... Might as well make things out of bone, you know? We got plenty of bones. Oh, we can make... That's right, we can make bone things. Bone helms? Yeah. We have plenty... With all these chickens that we are slaughtering, we have plenty of helms around. Uh, keep, like, two to six. That's a nice number. And I also want you to make... Some bone gauntlets. Any material really is fine. And same thing, two to six. And what else can we do? Leggings. Greaves and gauntlets are the same thing. Isn't a greave a glove? Oh, I thought it was. Maybe greaves are... are lighter weight, so it's more like a archer's kind of thing, not a uh, heavy-duty one. Oops. Q. Um. I think a pot works for something. Um. Oh, nest boxes. We should never run out of food again with all these chicks running around. Why is this bed not getting made? There's beds right here. Put these beds in there. Somebody work. Uh, to make this hospital, we have to do this. Make a zone. Um, go ahead and... It's fine. Make it a hospital H. Four beds, four tables, two traction benches, three boxes. Okay, so we'll need some things. 
Uh, we need... I guess it's all the stuff we need. I don't have the stuff to make soap yet. Um, uh, actually, yeah, I do. I think, I think I do. Um, we'll need cloth, splints, crunches, we're making those. Powder for casts. Buckets. Two buckets. Who makes buckets? Do you make buckets? Out of... Rock? Is a bucket the same thing as a pot? We're gonna find out. He's unrotten bone. Is there not enough bone? Is this... There's plenty of bone. There we go. Yeah, plenty of bone to grab here. Whoa. That was a frightening sound. I don't think there's anything... A troll is... Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where is the troll? It follows over and it gives into pain. I'm not sure what... By attack by what? There is a troll down here. Oh my. Lots of chinchillas and a troll. Who's finding it? What's happening to the troll? I don't know, but we're gonna go kill it. Get over here, bring your crossbows, and start bashing it like you do. Here comes somebody. Who's first? Scout. Get him, Scout. Beat him with that crossbow. I'm not sure. Did he, like... I'm not sure what happened. He's scared now. Yeah, get him. I wonder if he was fighting something else. It doesn't really say what happened to him. He just sort of got hurt. I'm, su I'm sure it wasn't the chinchillas. Large humanoid co monster with coarse fur, largest horn, tusks and horns. His lower left leg is torn open. Lower left leg is bruised. Head is bruised. Her right foot is mangled. Right foot is bruised. Right lower arm is bruised. Uh, who is this? Zombie. Zombie went and fought and fought it. Zombie passed out from exhaustion. That's before the troll, though. So you just walked up to the troll and just started beating it. Nice job, zombie. And then left him to die, I guess. Nicely done, zombie. How is our... Uh... Yeah, we're doing... We have some more grazing. We need to clear this out some more. Clean out the rest of this, and we'll make a, uh, we'll get a wall in here when you get rid of these ramps. Are they on a different level? I guess we can put the wall right here. And we actually cancel that. Get rid of this, and we'll chop some trees down. And put a wall, like, along here, and up. Just keep our animals... And closed a bit better. Oh, actually, I might keep that. Where's that troll at? Yeah, get the troll. Nice. We're officially dwarves and we're killing trolls. Job zombie. It gives you it just gives you a raise. Everybody's beating the troll now. He don't have any troll friends, does he? Nope. Just chinchillas, and I'm not afraid of those. So we need to put a cut here in this episode. So thanks again. Thanks again for watching. We'll continue slaughtering this uh, troll. It may take us a while. But uh, I will see you next time.